Hey Tularinos, got a scratch and dent here uh, from one of my trips to uh, Canton. Uh, this is an overhead heater, uh, infrared heater. Uh, I'm assuming the brand is Heatstar. It doesn't appear to be any damage to the uh, ceramic plates or whatever you call those things that glow. The thermocouple is present, and the valve appears to be undamaged, though the, the heat shield is all dented up. <clears throat> so it definitely took a hit, or just got smashed with a, with a tow motor or something. So, maybe I can uh, straighten it out a little bit and fire it up and not freeze my baguettes off this winter. <laughs> Hopefully. I picked up a couple of these little jerry cans. They're five gallon. It says US. There's a G. Yeah, they're not in great shape. They're not collector's items. Uh, they don't really have much rust in them, but I also don't have any spouts for them or anything, so I'm not going to use them for fuel. I intend to use them for used motor oil collection because uh, the plastic jugs that I've been using, you know, always worry me that something will bump into them or something will puncture them or they'll split open. So I don't have to worry about that with the metal ones. This is the freebie hand cart. And I just wanted to point out what it says here. It says uh, something the Colson Corp. There's a little something there. What is that? Not sure what that says. Maybe I can figure it out. On the camera or on the computer. Hey Tolarinos, here's a little wheelbarrow update. I was putting away these wheelbarrows under my uh, little rain shed out here for the winter. And uh, if you remember from my last video where I talked about this, my grandfather's wheelbarrow, the, uh, the wheel is, you know, shot. Even though it still rolls, it's quite shot. And it was called a Swan Arrow, puncture proof. And uh, I was looking at this Ajax aluminum barrow wheelbarrow that I had shown in a previous video. Check it out. And I decided to check the wheel. And wouldn't you know it, it is a Swan Arrow puncture proof, same size, 10 by 2.75. So these two wheelbarrows may be of a similar vintage. Pretty cool, huh? If anyone has any suggestions for uh, how to look up the history of some old wheelbarrows, please let me know in the comments. Okay, I can hear the questions already. <laughs> what is a rain shed? Well, basically, it's just a piece of covered area where rain will not get on things. I have wanted to put some sort of uh, tarp or curtain coming down you know, to give some protection from the side. It's up against the side of the shop. So, you know, rain can't come in from that side. So, you know, I tend to put things under here that, you know, they're not fully protected as they would be inside of a building, but it gives me some space to put some stuff to keep it out of the rain. And uh, this is made from an old trampoline frame that my uh, uncle gave me years ago. And I made the cross pieces out of some uh, fencing uh, piping that I think was left here. Uh, we found it here when we bought the house. So based on how much fencing piping I had, I was able to figure out how wide I could make it. 
And then this plastic was uh, sort of a, a farm type material. It's a fiberglass reinforced translucent plastic. It's very tough. It's used on cow sheds and things. And uh, it's been out here a long time and it's still not damaged. It's still not, you know, no holes are poked through it or anything. You can see there's stuff sitting up here. And uh, it's been working for oof, six, eight years now it's been out here. So, you know, it's kind of neat. It's uh, sort of an example of resilience, right? Using something you've got. I had bought a roll of this, uh, this material for using on the back porch one winter. And uh, so I had that left over and I had this pipe and I thought, well, what can I do with this? That would be, you know, helpful. So that's what I came up with, a rain shed. Everybody loves colorful moving things, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing thing. Really neat. Yeah, I scored this from the junk man up the street. It was all bent out of shape and I thought, well, maybe I could fix it. Looks like it worked. But uh, besides being bent, of course the bearings were all seized up with rust. And uh, also I found that the main uh, vein, or whatever you want to call it here, was so out of balance, even after it was all lubricated and spinning freely, it would not spin in the wind. So, if you look at the green one here, you see there's uh, twist ties on the one side. On the back side, there's a washer. <laughs> so that's what it took to get it basically perfectly balanced and working again.